We'd always said all last year if we ever have a bright kitchen to my we're gonna we're gonna go to an avenue block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original engine designed for five thousand five hundred, we're revving it to eight thousand six hundred RPM. So that that's a huge amount for a for a, a, a like a big block Chevy push rod engine. That's a lot of RPM. built to perfection. This is why 350 hours worth of building is the reason for it. The valve train on a big block Chevy, if it's not perfect, it won't rev. So we, we kept it to 8,600 RPM all year and then on the last meeting we had an issue that I didn't think was anything to do with the trans. I thought it was the converter was working differently because we were launching in first gear. So I upped the rev limit to not to from 86 to 9,000 but the rev limit allows it to go over 9,000 a little bit and that's what did it. It's not meant to rev to 9,000 <laughs> so it was a mistake that we made, well I particularly made by raising the rev limit and now we, that's a learning curve so we know we, we cannot go over the 8,600 limit and the limiter, the limiter we've got will never go over 8,600. It's a water block so it's a street, it's still a street type block but it's just a lot lighter, very very strong um, and it was what we were looking for. It's something We wanted something that would re repair easier than an iron block and this repair will repair a lot easier than an iron block. So that was a good choice. But it's not a full on billet race block because we wanted the water jackets to be able to drive, still drive on the street. Took a long time to get the pieces together because they're expensive, and it took me a while to get the funds to get them. Um, but yeah, we got them, got it to Marks, and then he started the lengthy process of building a, a from scratch engine. So it's like 35 days it took him at 10 hours a day. And he was wor he was working huge, unbelievably long hours. He was like getting up and starting at half eight, not finishing till one o'clock in the morning on some days. And he, he 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 really really worked hard for us to get it back this quick. So it, down to him that we can actually get it to John's and 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 kind of at least have four weeks before we due to go out. Yeah, well, the engine went in pretty easy, in fairness, it's just, we thought we were going to have all sorts of problems. It was like whether the block was going to be the same length as the old block, um, and we wouldn't have known, we didn't know until it sat in the bed, but it went in really easy. <coughs> no, no dramas, no anything, it just pretty much fell in the, en fell in the engine bay and sat in its mountains. It is like it was meant to be there, isn't it? Six months later. <laughs> so it just slotted right in? Yeah, unbelievably. It's actually dimensionally exactly what they told us it was. Same as a same as a dark block, so yeah, no, okay. it's, uh, Imagine that, an engine yeah, sitting in a frame. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've tried the starter and it does fit. Yeah. I actually mm. sat it in the thing and put the bolts on just to make sure it sat on their bowler. Yeah. We've got a spare as well. Did you get a bit of 
this one. Okay. And that's, that's so, I tell you what. So t Tony's been with us with the top methanol, but he's been with me with Red Victor 1, Red Victor 2, and now Red Victor 3, and he's the crew chief, and uh, he's... He's my eyes and ears outside the car, so I trust him completely. He's been a friend of mine since, like, 1990, 1989. Had some races together, not race, championship races, just run what you brung races. And we got to know each other and kind of friendship went from then and I've been friends with him ever since. He's a good guy and Art, he's a good guy. He eats everything and eats for all of us and... He's a man mountain, but he's a real clever guy, and and but yeah, he's he's he, Arthur's an asset to us. I mean, firstly, he can barbecue, which <laughs> which is his, the most important thing. <laughs> the team is about having a good time. It's ser deadly serious when we're racing, deadly serious when we're on the car, but outside of that, we have fun.